It's only been a few days since starting up the uh, Spider Farmer SF1000 EVO, and I've been quite pleased. So far, I've been running it 100% over 18 inches over these cucumbers. Leaves are looking quite lush. Very happy with that. Previously, I had some of the growth pointing out. They were going upright uh, towards the previous light. And now everything has flattened out and showing signs that the light is doing quite well. With cucumbers, it's always exciting to see new growth and baby cucumbers, as well as the bright yellow flowers. In a six gallon recirculating hydroponic system with Dynagro 936, everything seems to be going quite well. And the plants, there's actually two, are doing quite well. They are clones. As a matter of fact, it was quite surprising to lift up some of these leaves and look underneath because I'm already getting cucumbers and it's quite exciting to see the uh, productivity of the plants underneath the uh, spider farmer light. There's not a lot of recirculation going on, but basically four points within the chamber they're circulating out by jets and they're hitting the middle of the container and where the uh, two cucumber plants are planted they're only getting a single stream lots of uh, new blossoms that are forming uh, the uh, plastic part you see right there is measuring the water level so let's go ahead and take off this uh, cucumber that has been growing. We'll just pop that off. And it seems like to be a nice seedless and parthenocarpic uh, cucumber for snacking on. I think the spider farmer has kind of figured out that to cluster all the diodes in the middle just basically uh, throws light down in the middle. And by putting the uh, diodes around the outer edges, it's going to be uh, more even on the plants. Here's a shot of the roots growing in water. Absolutely gorgeous. Best thing you could hope for in hydroponics is to have white roots and multiple branching because most of the nutrients are picked up by the new roots that are forming, the tiniest roots, and the oxygenation provided by the recirculation is where they get their gas exchange. It's really been uh, very uh, fascinating about these Black Magic Gropels. Since they're uh, a little over six gallons and they can grow quite large plants. And so they've soon become one of my favorite growth chambers. Based off the coverage of the light, it appears that I could easily put an additional two plants into this chamber, especially clones that are less branching than seed plants. And have quite a few cucumbers. So as a week one update, I'd like to say that the uh, Spider Farmer SF1000 EVO has jumped right in and has been a quite performer in terms of grow lights. So I'm going to uh, continue this grow and features a few more updates and let you see the performance of the light and the grow system and how well the plants are doing. Be sure to check out the um, video I will put in the comments where I unboxed this uh, particular light because it is a uh, high performer and it is rated for a lot of plants that are certainly legal 
in most states, <laughs> as well as some that are illegal. However, for my personal taste and indoor grows, tomatoes and cucumbers are wonderful to grow indoors.